So here I'm just preparing my journal pages by putting newspaper behind them to protect the rest of the journal. I know it looks really fast but um, that's the joy of video editing. Just putting some gesso on to give myself a ground. Seal the pages up and give me a nice surface to work on. So after letting that dry, I'm now going to start collaging on some um, some papers. I've chosen a selection of gold and yellow papers. Um, just for this layer. And these are just being applied intuitively without any planning really. Okay, so this is a matte medium, acrylic matte medium, um, and it dries really quite quickly. So in a minute I'm going to go on and apply paint and I didn't really need to wait for it to dry any longer. I'm just applying this with a palette knife because that protects the bristles on my brushes. So here I've put out a selection of acrylic paints and I've added matte medium to them um, because when working in an art journal I find that the glossy acrylic paints stick together when you close the pages so I add matte medium to give it a bit of a rougher surface to stop that, that sticking happening. So again I like blending on the page. Um, I've chosen a selection of yellows and golds and some iridescent um, colours as well just really because they're fun and I really love the effect you get from blending on the page so you get some nice mixes between different colour areas Okay, so I have to let this layer dry now before I can come back and work on it again. Oh no, sorry, I forgot. <laughs> I'm adding some brush marks here to just add a textured um, feeling to the paint areas and I'm using contrasting colours so that um, you get a, a blend across the different colour areas.
Okay, so having left it to dry for a little while, I'm now come back to work on it and I'm adding some white outlines for um, the lightning streak of the storm. So basically this is about the diver, which um, I said in the intro screen to this video is a, is a seabird and they're also known as storm geese. Um, so this is about the dive of this spread, so I thought we'd have them on a stormy background. Some little fishes in the bottom. Just adding some red into this um, layer now. So system three acrylic paints perfectly good for art general and actually I use these for my canvases really but um, today they got used on the art journal so this is a fluorescent red and it's quite translucent so it does allow the, um, the, the patterns from the previous layer to show through which I quite like Again, blending on the page. Leaving it to dry again and um, I think I've forgotten to record this bit when I applied green onto the right hand side of the page. Slightly off screen there, just um, adding red into the green areas. Now I'm adding outlines for my diver. some seaweed in the corner there for the little fish to disappear into. So I'm just adding some more colours and I'm, I'm going to add some dark colours to this layer. So that's some blue right there. 
just mixing up a bit of a purple on my palette. So the contrast between the yellow and the um, purple really makes the lightning pop. Of course purple and yellow or violet and yellow are complementary colours on the colour wheel so they do tend to um, contrast well. I think um, if I redid this again I would have a few more translucent areas in the sky because um, this purple was quite thick and, and, and blocked it out. So, going on to work on the sea now. Having looked at some reference photos um, from underwater, I, I saw that um, there was kind of a darker line along the surface, so here I'm bringing the lighter colours down near the bottom. Maybe if I'd used um, a zinc white instead of titanium white, I could have just got a bit more translucency there. Okay, and that's just about the end of the um, of the spread. Thanks so much for watching. Um, love it if you give me a thumbs up or or subscribe. Hopefully, see you again. Bye.